So welcome to Polymaterials Laboratories here at Imperial Innovations in London. One of the key differentiators of our new biotransformation technology is an ability to achieve full biodegradation without creating microplastic. Now, visually, one of the ways we're able to demonstrate that is by what I have on the table here in front of me. Where in the first instance, we have a typical plastic film, very familiar to households all around the world that doesn't contain our technology. When we put this through a weathering system, just like happens in the natural environment, you get what I have in this Petri dish here in front of me. It's been physically broken apart, but it still has its structural integrity. It's also not recognizable to nature. And the way we're able to demonstrate those two facts is by, in the first instance, taking the microplastic, melting it, and turning it back into something of substance. In this case, we've created a little plastic lid here. Additionally, through independent third-party testing, we're using live-dead techniques to show nature's foot soldiers, that's the microbes and the fungi in the natural environment, trying to interact with the material, but by the heavy presence of the red blotches all across this visual here, this tells us that they're ultimately dying, which means this material persists over time. What's different when you add our technology in to the exact same film, as you can see in the first instance, very little. It still has the same physical characteristics, functional properties, strength, and so on. But when you put it through the same weathering system, you get something that's fundamentally different. This has been chemically transformed. It's lost its structural integrity. It's also biologically available. And the way we're able to demonstrate those two things is, in the first instance, try to turn it back into something that has structure and purpose by melting it and trying to create the same lid. This now is behaving like a grease-like substance, very similar to a candle when you light it and the wax runs down along the side. You have a material just like that there. It's also biocompatible or biologically available. So through the same independent testing, we're able to show in this instance nature's foot soldiers interacting with the material and because of the heavy presence of a lot of these green blotches they're colonizing thriving and ultimately this will not persist over time it will fully assimilate so through this process you're taking the carbon within the polymer and you're using nature's ability to biodegrade to transform that into carbon dioxide water and biomass ultimately avoiding microplastic. Thank you very much for listening.